Alright guys, we are back, and I have a new deck, it's called the Volcanic Revenger, back to Steve. I managed to win way back here, I decided to throw in, you know, we're just gonna go all out offense here. Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard have always proven us well, and the Growlithe and Arcanes have always been really good. On top of that, we've seen how potent they can be. Diggle and Doug Trio is always a great starting way to go out, especially because of Diggle's low retreat cost. Or his app story trick doesn't have any. Right Horn and Rhydon are pretty good for- why did I do? Wow, fail lucky, you put in the right Pokemon. Right Horn and Rhydon are very good as well. Imagine if I didn't put that- imagine if I just didn't look and I just did that. Wow, that would have been really bad fail. But Right Horn and Rhydon are pretty good stalling and pretty good endgame Pokemon if I can get those set up as well. So, we're gonna go with that and hopefully I can do something good here. Um, well, let's go ahead and get started. Steve, I am taking you down. No hold bars here, however that phrase goes. <laughs> Epic fail there, but here we go, Steve. You and your goddamn yellow beard are not gonna best me a second time except I don't have any Pokemon in my hand. God damn it. I really could use some Pokemon game. Come on, I want some Pokemon. Give me some Pokemon. Give me some Pokemon. Doug Trio, Growlithe. Oh, I have the Arcanine. I have this Arcanine, and I have double colorless energy. So if I can get a second fire energy, that's going to be very, very nice. Unfortunately, it's going to leave me a little open right here, and that does kind of worry me, because especially because I'm not going first, and okay, it's just a Voltorb. Oh, come on, please don't hit my Growlithe, please don't hit my Growlithe, please don't hit my Growlithe. Thank goodness. That's going to hit his other Zapdos. He has another Zapdos on his bench, apparently. He actually has three types of Zapdos in his deck, which is really annoying, because these things are just a pain in the ass. Um, thank goodness it hit this one, because this one is scary. You can see, as you can see, it has uh, Raichu's Thunder, and it also has Thunderbolt, which is uh, it's the only other attack besides Charizard's Fire Spin that does 100 damage in the game. It does require 100, all uh, its energies to be spent, though, to use it, so... Um, Luckily, it's a bit worse than a fire spin. I can hopefully use that to my advantage. He isn't going for the. He isn't trying to set up the. Uh, what am I? What am I even get if I get this? Um, I ha I know I don't I have Doug Tree in my hand, so in that case, I'm gonna go ahead and get a Diglet. That seems like the best option right now because I don't want to set up Ride Done. I'd rather set up Doug Trio. Um, so I'm gonna throw that on the bench. So at least I have something in my bench now. And I will be able to kill this thing off with two flares. However, before that happens, I really like to get the Arcanine set up because I don't want things to come in and kill my Growlithe. Although, I don't think he'll have enough time to get the Zapdos set up. Oh, there we go, I got the Rhydon anyway, and I have another double colorless energy used on that. Um, Flare's gonna get this, I really need this fire energy game. That, this fire energy is gonna be very key. I will be able to easily get first blood, but if he gets that Zapdos set up, it will revenge kill this if I don't have energies on this thing. So come on. Oh, I could use like a pure search to get the, the, the but that's not really good though. Okay, 60 damage. That is gonna. I really wish I had double. I wish I really wish I had a gust of wind. I could switch out to that and kill it. Um, the best option I can do right now is get myself. Uh, I don't even know. I need that Zapdos dead thanks to this thing though. So I'm gonna get myself a fire energy from this. Um. Oh no, he's gonna be able to switch this thing in. Oh, this is just a, such a sticky, sticky situation. I don't want to risk it yet, though. Um, you know, I could. Ah, uh, I don't know what to do here, game. Why would you put me in such a tough situation? I'm just gonna go for the flare. I'm just gonna kill this thing off. Zapdos is gonna come in and kill this thing, which is gonna be unfortunate. But he does have a chance of doing damage to himself with thunder. So, oh, this Zapdos is gonna come in. That's not the play I would have done. I would have gone ahead and killed his Growlithe. Now he's going to give me a chance to set this thing up and actually start killing things. Well, I don't know about that decision, Steve. I wouldn't exactly call that a good decision. This is definitely where I'm going to go ahead and use a computer search, though, as much as I don't want to get rid of this switch, and get myself a Fire Energy, because I need this Arcanine to start killing this... Uh... Even though it's going to hurt myself a lot, I need the Zapdos dead, so it's worth doing the damage to myself. Um... Something will be able to revenge kill pretty easily. Uh, I do have a fighting energy though, so I can get I got the ride on already good to go here. So that's gonna be handy. Uh, he does have that other Zapdos though. That's not gonna I'm not gonna be able to do anything against that other Zapdos. Um, that is kind of a problem. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a flamethrower at this point. Uh, flamethrower, and that is gonna take out the Zapdos. This thing probably is going to get revenge killed, which is going to suck. Oh, well, he's just going to go with the Eevee at the moment. Okay, well, you know, I can go ahead and just keep using flamethrowers. Oh, his plus power is going to hurt. He's just trying to take me down with by um, this here. Not, he's, I guess he's saving that Zapdos for after this thing's taken care of. Although, uh, I'm not going to be able to, this thing's going to die anyway, which is kind of sad. Rhydon will be able to revenge kill it, though. Um, at this point, having a Diglett is just unfortunate. I really wish I could do I need I don't need double colorless energies right now. I need something else. Um, double colorless energies will be useful if I get other Pokemon, but right now, Eevee just took down an Arcanine. That's sad. That's very really reminiscent of the Ken match, actually. Eevee finally got his revenge while it was not on my side. God damn it. 
Um, of course I get the fire energy now. Screw you, game. But Horn Attack will easily be able to take down this Eevee. Problem is that the Zapdos is going to be able to come in and do some hurt, so I need... Well, he could actually... End up... Oh, uh, Peel of Thunder, do not hit my right on, please. Oh, of course. Okay, now he can actually kill with his um, four energy attacks, so that's not good. However, I did get the Charmander. Bill, come on, I need some flying energies really badly. Um, or a gust of wind. That's not bad, actually. Um, okay, I can s start setting this thing up. Um, I really need his evolutions, though. I really am kind of mismatched with what I have at the moment. Um, I'm going to go ahead, stall out using by using this Electabuzz as fodder. So I'm going to horn attack, and then they'll give me another turn as well to get some cards. Um, the unfortunate... Oh, well, he's going oh, to go for that Zapdos. Okay, that kind of means we're at a stalemate at the moment, actually. Which is... Unfortunate, but it does give my Charmander time to set up. If I can get the Charmeleon and the Charizard, that would be great. Because um, even his Zapdos won't be able to do that. Oh, there we go. There's the Charmeleon right there. So perfect. That's going to be very handy. Um, the question is, do I want to risk taking damage on this thing? Because Thunder... Uh, if he goes, if he does the Thunderbolt on this, that's going to hurt. Um, and it's going to cost me all my energies to switch out. So... Do I want to risk it setting up in order to be able to kill off this Zapdos? I think I'm going... well... Um, yeah, we're going to do that. I don't want to risk this thing setting up as well, so I need to just go ahead and take damage while I can. I'm going to let Charmeleon start hurting this thing. Ugh, you really have to start thinking these matches, even when you have the advantage in type like this. They make it really tough. Um, oh, there we go, Super Energy Retrieval. What do I have in my discard pile? For once, I'm actually going to have to check my uh, discard pile. I have a Fighting Energy, a Fire Energy, a Fire Energy. That might actually be worth getting. So, um, well, what do I have to sacrifice, actually? Uh, a Dug Trio and a Rhyhorn. That's probably worth it, so let's do that. Uh, not getting all my energies back, but I'm just going to get the three that I need here, because then I can start sending up the Diglett and get my Dug Trio going, hopefully. Because that will also be very helpful if I can get that set up. Um, also, because maybe it might be worth retreating and let Dug Trio take the hit. Oh, he's going to start doing this. Damn it, he played clever there. And there goes my Charmeleon before I can get Charizard. So, well played by him. However, now he has no energies. I have time to set up on this thing. Um, and I do have a Growlithe now. Did not want to play that on this. Oops. But that is okay, I guess, because Slash can actually go ahead and um, fight another Fighting Energy, which I need. Fighting Energies need them. But I can also set the Growlithe the other Fighting Energy, and hopefully I can get the other Arcanine. Alright, so now things have gotten a bit interesting and kind of bad. My Ah, uh, don't heal this thing. Oh, crap. This is getting bad. Um, he's going to start really doing a lot of damage with that Zapdos, and I don't really have anything that can deal with it right now. Oh, boy. Come on. I need something. He's going to—he's definitely going to kill off this this thing right here. Um, this energy here right here is actually completely useless to use. I'm going to have to revenge kill Growlithe of all, of all things, but then the other Zapdos is going to come and hurt that, so... He, is, he does burn through a lot of energy using this Zapdos. It is going to completely decimate my uh, big trio, so now it's the match is tied here. Growlithe, I need energies right now. That's what I need. I need energies. Oh, now I get the Charizard. See, this is why I probably shouldn't have brought it in so soon. That's exactly what I was hesitant of happening, and it just sort of happened. I should be able to set up on this thing before he gets this, unless he has... I mean, hopefully he doesn't have the energies to do this anymore, but he might actually get that. That's not good. Need this Arcanine, or another Charmander, or something, anything, anything that I can do to kill this thing off here. Because these Zapdoses are a pain in the ass. Okay, he, if it gets more energy, this thing is going to die. But it could finish itself off at the same time. So that may actually be worthwhile. So I'm going to go keep this thing in. He's going to take a risk of killing himself if he uses Thunder. So hopefully I'm going to get lucky here. Come on. Oh, he's okay. He's just he's not going to take the chance. He's going to let me kill this thing off. Probably a good option. Does he have his other Zapdos set up? It doesn't... A lot of the things on his bench are actually pretty weak right now. I might actually have... He probably should have gone for it, but then, he does, again, he doesn't really have anything that can really... that is really going to like taking damage. Uh, I'm not getting a Pokemon, though. If this Growlithe falls, I'm going to be in trouble. Oh, Electrode. Okay, maybe not as nice. And he's going to kill that Zapdos up. Uh, Sonic Boom is going to kill this thing off into its... I, if, if I ever get an Arcanine... If I ever need an Arcanine, it's right now. Okay, Bill, Arcanine and a Fire Energy. Arcanine and a Fire Energy. Charmander and a... That's no good. Um, yeah, because unfortunately Rhydon's not going to be able to tank this very well thanks to Sonic Boom, so um, I'm going to need some sort of miracle here. Uh, a double colorless energy right now would be a beautiful thing. However, I think I might have already burned through all of them, actually. Uh, Sonic Boom is going to kill this thing off. 
darn it. Okay, it's two prizes to two prizes. This is gonna be close. Right on, I need to double kill this energy really badly. Or I could maybe, if I can just maybe pull through just a little bit more here. Just a little bit more. Come on. One more energy is all I need for this right on to get set up. Except he's gonna switch out to Zapdos and start causing havoc. Okay, maybe I can actually do something good with this though, because okay, it's gonna be a race to get fighting energies before he sets up the Zapdos. It's gonna be a pretty darn close one. Come on, fighting energy! Yes! Here we go! It's time to start ramming with Ryan. That's exactly why I have Ryan on my deck. He's gonna have be forced to switch this out. This is gonna hurt me a lot, but he is gonna be forced to switch out that Zapdos and take some damage actually. He's gonna keep retreating. He's gonna try to go for a kill here. What's he gonna hit? He's gonna hit his own Pokemon! There goes his Voltorb, so that actually gives me a, yet more another advantage here. This is coming down to the wire. Um, Fire Energy and the Arcanine, because they don't have it that anymore, so that's not really going to help. But that's okay, because I still can keep ramming. Um, I'm going to be forcing him to use up all his energies just to switch out. Um, oh, did I just go Horn Attack? Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Please don't tell me I, I just killed myself. I just lost the game because I'm an idiot. Oh... Crap! Okay, I need, um, some sort of miracle here. I'm gonna go for the scratch, and he, he either kills himself or he kills me. It all comes down to fate because I'm an idiot. Here we go, Big Thunder is gonna hit himself, and that is going to be the game. Honestly, though, if I used Ram, I would've won anyway. So, because this, um, if that had happened, he would've switched back out, and this the Charmander would've been on the revenge kill, so... I should have been the winner anyway, just because I clicked stupidly. That is going to be my win, though. Holy crap, these matches have been so obscenely close. So, here we go. It is going to be... That was literally like, oh my goodness. I guess the odds were in my favor, because it is, you know, supposed to be, like, you know, him or me. You know, each Pokemon has its own chance of getting hit, so the odds were in my favor, but boy, was that close. Oh, those legendary Pokemon, I tell you, they are brutal. But it's time to make ourselves our new deck and then get on our way for the next duel. Don't go... No. So first thing we're going to save, just so I don't be an idiot like that. And it's time to make a new deck. So we've done a Grass Water deck, we've done a Fire Fighting deck, so now it's time for a Lightning Psychic deck. And that is going to be pretty spiffy if I say so myself. So, um... I've actually been looking forward to make, making this kind of deck for a while, because you know what that means. You know what that means. That means the return of Raichu. And that makes me excited. Who, who isn't excited by the return of a Raichu? What are you doing? Get back here. Okay. So, um, we're going to throw in the Pikachus. I like these Pikachus. Oh, no. We have the promo Pikachus now. So, we're going to throw in two Pikachus and the promo Pikachus. And then, of course, um, well, actually, you know, just one Pikachu and the promo Pikachus. And then we're also going to throw in um, the Magnemites and the Magnetons, because we actually have these now. Um, this Magneton's cool because it doesn't um, use weakness resistance, but... This one has Thunder Wave. I'm going to do one of each, actually, and then three of these ones, because I like these ones better than these ones. Um, so that'll be that, and I do have... I don't really have anything else worth throwing in this deck. Um, so we're going to go with the rest being Psychic energy, uh, psychic Pokemon. It seems like I'm always going lower on the one that's actually weakness in this one for some reason. Um, I guess I'm going to go... Yeah, we're going to go with Damage of Abercadabra, like a Zam. Uh, the Mewtwo's are obviously always a good one to have in here. Mew, obviously always a good one to have in here. Um, and then, hey, we have enough for Drowsy and Hypno. So there we go, we'll do a combination like this. That seems pretty good to me. Uh, and as for, for energies, there's really little use to having double colors in this one because less Pokemon really use it, so I'm not going to bother. Well, uh, that could be useful for Raichu, but um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ten or 9 and 12, or no, 10 and 13, because a lot of the uh, electric Pokemon can use colorless energies, so we're going to do that. That's going to be our deck, and it's going to be called the... Um, it's going to be, well, actually, I'm going to make a, it's a kind of a little joke from an earlier take on this, um, when I accidentally made an electric psychic deck. I accidentally ended it at just, uh, this as a, I meant to put a Psyshock deck, but it actually put the Psycho deck. So, it's going to be our Psycho deck. It kind of sounds like Psycho. It's like, it's a Psycho. So, it's our abbreviated Psyshock deck. And that is going to be the deck that we fight Jack with next time, guys. Um, this is Lucky 7DX. We'll see if I can win this time. Um, I'm going to save one more time because I'm not going to be redoing the first two matches. Um, but here we go, we're going to take on Jack, and hopefully we'll finish off the rest of the Grandmasters. I'll uh, see you guys next time, bye-bye.